trailers. Is this gonna be the Catching Fire trailer? Ladies and gentlemen. Catching Fire? The victors of the 74th Hunger Game, Katniss Everdeen and Peter Malak. Another one? I haven't seen this yet. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited. She just wants to save her skin. Simple as that. She has become a beacon of hope for them. She has to be eliminated. What do you think? I agree she should die, but in the right way. <laughs> okay, I don't even know what this is about because I didn't read any of the books. <laughs> you don't have to destroy her, just her image. Show them that she is one of us now. Let them rally behind that. Is that even the right thing? <laughs> They're gonna hate her so much, they might just kill her for you. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> it's going down. She's up. Miles on. There she is, Captain Seventeen! The girl on fire! That girl is on fire. People are looking at you, Katniss. You've given them an opportunity. They just have to be brave enough to take it. This looks really good. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, honestly, I saw the Hunger Games. It was kind of good. They will kill us. Wait, what boy was that? Oh, it's going to be another PETA Gale thing after this. She has some balls to say that when you have a gun right in your face. Her entire species must be eradicated. Her species, sir. The other victors. Because of her, they all think they're invincible. <laughs> you don't understand. You don't. You just don't. I'm just gonna fangirl this entire episode. So are you excited about the next Hunger Games movie? Yeah, I'm pretty stoked for it. I am really excited. I'm not like like a hardcore fan like a lot of people are, but I like it. I've never read any of the books or even seen the first film, so yeah. I'm so excited because it's a new director. No offense to the guy that did the first one. Did the trailer do a good job at telling you what it's going to be about? I think it gives you enough information to that people know what's going on, but then at the same time, it doesn't give anything away. Honestly, they could have done a better job explaining it. It doesn't really explain it because they're just kind of banking on you having seen the previous movie. And what in the new movie are you most excited to see? Liam Hensworth. The whole love triangle. I want to see how it plays out on the screen. The games, because the way it was in my head, I was like reading it and I was like, oh my God, I cannot wait to see this in movie form. Spoiler alert. I'm super excited to see the arena because it's like really big spoiler. It's a Out of a score of 1 to 10, what would you give the first Hunger Games? A 5. 6. 7. 7.3. 7, 7 and a half. I'd say like an 8. Maybe a 9. 9. What was something specific in the first movie that you, you thought they didn't do well? Honestly, I can't really think about it. I was like a sucker for it. There was no violence in it. There's no gore. There's no blood. Like, that's what got me into the book. They focused a lot more on the love triangle in the movies than they do in the books. And it wasn't so overwhelming that it made it not as good like what it did with Twilight. PETA is supposed to be like, have a prosthetic leg on now. And they're like, oh, it's just like a cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, just put some cream on it. You're good. They cut out a lot of important things. The mayor, and then the mayor has a daughter. She's the one who gives Katniss the pin. There's a really important story behind that Mockingjay pin. And they really f up. Have you read the second book? Yes. Yes. Yes, I've read the book. I haven't read any of them. Those books are like this big. Ain't nobody got time for that. Why when you liked the movie, would you not read the next book to find out what happens next? Yeah, but that requires work. You can just go to the movies, be lazy, sit in a chair, and have a good time. The movies kind of summarize it all up in a short amount of time instead of me reading it, which would 
which would probably take longer. What would you say to people out there that loved the first movie, but then never read the second book? Read a book, people. That's like pure laziness. Are you crazy? Like, the book compared to the movie? There's no comparison. Like, you have to read the book. Normally, I'm just like, wow, that looks so good. I can't wait to see it. And someone's like, you should just read it. I'm like, no. And I was just like, dude, I can't wait. There's no way I can wait half a year or a year to see the next movie. I'm reading it now. I'll make up the story in my head. Yeah. And that's what I did. Is there something that you're really hoping that they don't cut out of the second movie? I wish, I, like, I'm hoping for, like, a more, like, intense, more blood. Bring on the blood. I hope they just don't, like, skim over, like, <laughs> You know? So I hope they, like, do... Why do you think The Hunger Games resonates so much specifically with teenagers? Probably because it has the whole aspect of lying, murder. And it also has Jennifer Lawrence in it, who is like a really big star right now and everyone loves her. There's a lot of violence too, so I mean that captures the guy side. And then there's love, girl side. I feel like when the main characters are kind of like our age, we relate more. Like if they had stuck like a 30 year old in Katniss's place, I don't think it would have been the same. A government would take people of our age and, and do this thing to them is kind of like... It gets you interested in seeing how they would survive because you don't know how you would survive. The majority of teenagers only see the love aspect in it when you have this completely other like totalitarian government taking over like the what is their world and killing off people to maintain order. It's like the kids that get it, get it and love it and the kids that don't still love it because there's something there to love. The thing that people try and say about books and movies is that it's so like teenagers can relate to every aspect of it so that makes them love it and stuff. I disagree completely. I think the reason we love these such like extravagant things is we can completely lose ourselves in it and not remember the things about us that are like that. If someone has never read or watched The Hunger Games, what would you tell them? Me too. <laughs> if you haven't read or seen the movie, you're living under a rock. I'll give you my Kindle. You gotta read it. My whole thing is like give everyone and everything a chance first before you like judge it. I would just tell them to not be so close-minded. And finally, when do you plan on seeing it? At the midnight screening, opening weekend, sometime in the theater, not in the theater, or not at all? Midnight. 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 Hey, midnight. Sometime in the theater. I'll just wait for it on DVD. Midnight screening. At home. I would see it at the midnight premiere. Not at all. Well, I'm gonna be camping out for the world premiere again, so that'll be like two weeks in advance. Thanks for watching another episode of Teens React. There have been over a hundred episodes of React so far, so click the link below. Are you excited for The Hunger Games? Let us know in the comments below. May the odds be ever in your favor. Did I say that right? Happy Hunger Games, and may the odds be ever in your favor.